Recession. It's the R-rated word that nobody likes to hear, let alone experience. But although we recognize the term once we do hear it, what exactly is a recession? A recession means that our economy is slowing down. Typically, when we experience recessions, we see high unemployment, financial turmoil, and a lot of uncertainty with our economy. But the technical definition all boils down to gross domestic product. And what that means is it is two consecutive negative quarters of GDP. So GDP is the value of all goods and services produced in our country. So if you think about it, if GDP shrinks over two consecutive quarters, that basically means that our economy is slowing down. That means there's less demands for goods and services, which means that companies generally struggle and people lose jobs and our investment performance goes down overall resulting in a struggling economy. There are multiple warning signs that can indicate that we're headed towards a recession or that we're in a recession. And these indicators include a rise in unemployment, a decrease in manufacturing, a decrease in household income, and a decrease in retail sales. Now, fluctuation in just one of these areas is not enough to sound off the recession alarm bell. But these indicators are often intertwined, meaning that if a large percentage of our workforce lost their jobs, that tends to create a decrease in our overall household income. So the question that we're getting most often right now is, are we in a recession? And if we had to answer that due to the technical answer with GDP, then the answer is yes. We have experienced two consecutive negative quarters of GDP in quarter one and in quarter two of 2022 but these were small decreases. So it's important to note that recessions do come in all shapes and sizes. If we can remember back to 2020, that was the shortest recession on record. That recession came after COVID and it only lasted two months, as opposed to 2008, where we had the Great Recession, which was the largest economic downturn since the Great Depression. So it's important to note that recessions are a natural occurrence and we don't know how bad or how ugly they're going to get. It's important to note as alarming recessions may be, they are a natural occurrence in our business cycle. On average, we go through recessions every five to six years. In fact, we have experienced 19 recessions since the Great Depression. So let's not be surprised by it when we see it because the probability is, is we're gonna go through a number of these throughout our lifetime. And that is why we advocate to have a recession resistant portfolio so that when we go through bear markets and recessionary periods, we don't derail our retirement. Subscribe now. And if you have questions on how to build a recession resistant portfolio, you can schedule a complimentary retirement checkup call.